we're back here at the Amsterdam FinTech Week and uh, we are now talking to Jeffrey. Great to have you here. Um, and we are chatting through uh, Cloud Native. And we're going to jump into topics around what you actually see happening inside the space right now. Yeah. So, super excited to have you here. Um, I think we start from the top, right? Let's uh, look at and understand your opinion when it comes to the, the challenges and obstacles that uh, fintechs and financial services in, in general face when they on their route to adopting cloud native technologies. Yeah, I think if you look at uh, the adoption of cloud native technology, it's I think the technology is there. So it's not so much about technology, it's more about the people and the clients around it. So still, we, we deliver cloud native core banking. And the core bank is, of course, quite crucial to banks. Yeah, it's their most reliable, most complete data set that they have. And for them, still, it is a hurdle. Uh, especially the, the risk managers, the security guys. Uh, for them, cloud is still sometimes a little bit yeah, they're not sure. So if you look at what they are demanding from a security point of view and the questions that they ask, uh, you sometimes feel like, well, I'm not sure if they really know cloud and what cloud native means. So I think that's one of the key challenges that we see. Uh, but uh, it's getting better. Uh, people are getting educated more and more. Uh, and so it's easier to, to sell. And I think another challenge still is uh, the regulators. Because the regulation is still running behind. Not the first person that said that today. No, probably not. <laughs> so the regulation is still running behind. Uh, they're adapting, they're learning. Uh, but still also there you see that it's sometimes hard to, uh, yeah, to explain what you're doing, uh, why you're doing it, how you do it. And that this is the way going forward. And uh, just, to, just to jump into one of those uh, topics, you mentioned education and people are getting uh, more educated. How are uh, you know, companies, individuals getting more educated about uh, you know, the cloud native uh, ecosystem? Uh, what you see, well, we do a lot of work there as well. So I feel that uh, it's also our job to more or less uh, orchestrate that part, not from a technical point of view so much, but more from an organizational point of view. So that's why we're also putting a lot of time and effort in the ecosystem. Uh, that means that we go out, we talk to potential partners, we, we do the, the vetting, so to speak. We look at, uh, we're quite strict there. So we have some criteria, uh, and what we look at is the technology. But it's not so much about technology, it's more about uh, what do they bring to the table? What is their ecosystem? Uh, what is their culture? Uh, and is there a fit? And is it complementary to what we deliver? Uh, what's, what I do see is that, well, let's be fair, if you work for a bank, how often are you going to build a complete new uh, application landscape? You, no, you might do it once, maybe yeah. twice in your life. So, uh, in general, they look at us, being from the core banking side, saying, hey, so what would you advise us to take for, I don't know, direct debits, open banking, payments, uh, onboarding, origination, all these kind of topics. And uh, so it is our job, I feel, also to have an opinion about that and select the best of breed partners so we can offer, together with those partners, a full solution to the clients. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, a lot of collaboration, a lot of working with inside the ecosystem. And as part of this, as part of uh, your journey uh, in, the, in sort of financial services space right now, what do you see as some of the, the key trends that are emerging and uh, you know, things that you know, folk out there should start thinking about as they start plotting their, their way through the end of this year and also into 2023? So I see more or less two key trends. Uh, so in the past, a lot of fintechs were focusing just on, on a monoline product kind of thing. Nowadays, uh, they're branching out because they also see, well, they need to make some money at some point. And I think that is what you see with a lot of these uh, key challenger banks in the past. They were not really making a lot of money uh, and they're now focusing to, to extend the product uh, suite. With that comes also, and that's also placed, of course, nicely with us, uh, a request to the core banking landscape. Because most of what they've built is more a monoline type of product. We offer uh, not just lending, but also the accounts part, also the payments part. So that's one of the key trends you see there. At the other end of the spectrum, the incumbent banks, I see that uh, now post-corona are really looking into how can I be more client-centric? How can I be more agile? Uh, it takes too long for them to bring out new products. They found it out during the pandemic when they needed to bring out new products. So a lot of, uh, yeah, more or less, market uh, share was still on the way by the fintechs and now they try to to get it back yeah, 
I, I like it a lot. And you know, as we look um, as we look into 2023, because we are nearly there. It's the end of it's in the end of Q4 right now. What the start of Q4, uh, nearly the end of the year. Um, what do you see as the evolution of of the fintech ecosystem? What are the what are the key opportunities that leaders out there uh, need to be really on top of in order to um, make the best out of 2023? Yeah, I think what the evolution there is is that it's it, we now go beyond just talking. It used to be handshakes, used to be marketing and sales, but it's relatively shallow. And what you see now is that there's a more tighter to collaboration between partners, so you actually can deliver what we always promised, that you can build a bank in three months. Yeah, yeah, I like that a lot. And, you know, you know, digitalization is here to say, you need to be, uh, you need to be on top of it. I was speaking to uh, Molly and uh, my pensions early on, and the, 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 the echo that came out of that discussion was make certain your digital strategy is at the top of the to-do the, the to list. Uh, because if it is, you're going to be um, at the front of the conversation, not at the back or the yeah. middle of the conversation. I couldn't agree more. Yeah, totally agree with that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Brilliant. And uh, listen, uh, I think it's been really great chatting to you today. Uh, looking forward to hanging out a bit more and uh, enjoy the day. Yeah. Thank you so much for having me.